Hello, everybody. Uh, we're really proud and welcome you uh, to our uh, uh, summer academy with the Zebra Systems. Uh, I'm looking forward uh, to work with all of you, and uh, I hope our uh, cooperation will be the long term and the fruit will. Uh, in the meantime, uh, if you will have any questions uh, about the Cloudflare, me and my colleague, uh, Maxim, uh, who is leading the sales department in the Cloudflare here in on the call. So uh, you can drop them in the chat and uh, we can answer for your questions. And uh, our contacts, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, they can be shared uh, by Michal or Neboisha and you can Call us uh, and ask any any questions regarding the cloud. Thank you very much, uh, and uh, again, looking forward to to cooperate with you for the in the future. Uh, thank you, giving the stage to Michal. Thank you, Ramin, for the Bosha. Please uh, stop sharing. Thank you. So. I will share my screen. So, and I will continue where uh, Nebojšav uh, stopped. So uh, hello from my side. Uh, my name is uh, Michal Hebeda and as Nebojšav already said, uh, I'm working uh, in uh, Zebra Systems as a consultant and sales engineer for the brands uh, of Cloudflare and Virtuoso. We'll start with uh, Cloudflare and in the second part of today's webinar, uh, I uh, will talk, tell you about uh, Virtuoso as well. So if, uh, let's go on. What we will see on Cloudflare, here is a, a short uh, overview of uh, what uh, we will see in today's presentation. So if, uh, let's uh, first introduce you to Cloudflare company. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar is Cloudflare or is uh, new for, for you? So a uh, few facts about uh, this company. Uh, Cloudflare was uh, founded in uh, 2010, so it's not any startup or uh, something similar. And it's uh, definitely not a small company as uh, they have more than, uh, more than uh, 1,600 uh, uh, employees. Uh, and uh, growing for the last several years, as you can see on the charts. What is Cloudflare bringing to us and mainly to our customers? We have to think about the pains or pain points of current customers, of current companies. You probably saw that there's a lot of massive DDoS attacks uh, as you uh, read uh, the newspapers or news uh, on the internet, uh, there is uh, almost uh, every month or every week uh, some uh, notice about uh, another company affected by some massive DDoS attack and uh, their function was interrupted and so on. Then uh, there are also some uh, dangerous things like uh, malicious bots and they, they can uh, misuse uh, the customer's applications, uh, issue websites, uh, and so on, and uh, misuse the information uh, they get from, from these uh, uh, sites. And uh, uh, also, uh, there's a danger of uh, data theft, uh, as attackers can compromise uh, customers' data and publish them uh, somewhere, or reuse uh, the credentials, credit card information, and so on. On the other side, there are also some performance issues, uh, like uh, many customers uh, are uh, talking us about uh, slow internet applications or APIs, uh, as uh, their customers cannot benefit uh, from the system uh, itself. Uh, for example, they cannot uh, buy the goods uh, from the e-shop and so on. And as uh, we are getting more and more mobile, uh, it's not easy to maintain a fast uh, web application, even for the for mobile for devices. As, uh, we have to optimize uh, in other way to bring uh, a good experience uh, to the end users. And of course, uh, any overloaded or unavailable infrastructure stop users from accessing the applications. And uh, again, it's a disaster for our customers. 
so uh, they are moving from the traditional model of physical networks and on-site applications and uh, we are moving uh, all to the cloud uh, is uh, the storage computing uh, applications and uh, this is uh, something uh, where Cloudflare can help you a lot uh, and can help your customers to bring uh, the experience uh, to your end users, to your customers, and uh, make the transition very easy and uh, maybe if, uh, less expensive and more powerful. So uh, what we can imagine if we say if, uh, Cloudflare, what is Cloudflare? If, uh, we can define Cloudflare as a network edge as a service. Uh, uh, so maybe this picture will represent uh, the growth uh, of uh, the company in the best. So you can imagine uh, there are more than uh, 200 uh, data centers in more than 100 uh, countries. So it's uh, they live almost uh, everywhere in the world except uh, Siberia, Greenland and uh, Alaska. And uh, this uh, network of, uh, of data centers uh, has a huge uh, network capacity, more than 50 terabits uh, per second. And uh, this uh, network uh, can absorb uh, any kind of uh, attacks, uh, can uh, filter the communication, which is uh, uh, coming uh, to the customers uh, servers uh, and uh, can allow only the good communication to their servers to prevent the servers from being attacked, from being overloaded uh, and uh, optimize the communication and make it faster. So uh, really this uh, picture represents uh, the idea of uh, Cloudflare in the best. As we talked about uh, all the data centers, uh, you can imagine that in uh, every uh, data centers, uh, the, the, uh, all the services uh, offered uh, on every server in every data center. So if uh, one of the servers or one of the data centers uh, will be switched off or overloaded, uh, then uh, the rest of the future network will take part in the communication and will manage the communication for the customers, for the end users, without any interruption. So uh, now we see why uh, the network is so huge to be very robust uh, and uh, fast and offering the services uh, all the time without any interruption. If uh, your customer became a Cloudflare customer, you'll get access to the dashboard, web-based dashboard, uh, to manage all the functionality and in the same way uh, you can use api access so uh, every particular setting can be set by uh, user interface or using api or the survey is using uh, terraform and uh, any change uh, made uh, using all these ways will be propagated uh, very fast to all the network so will become uh, effective immediately so if, uh, for example, your customers uh, is under attack and uh, is necessary to change some settings, then uh, you can do it uh, pretty fast and uh, protect the customer and uh, his servers uh, his and servers. So uh, the speed that is that uh, globally all of, uh, around the world, any change will be made under 30 seconds. So, uh, next. Uh, uh, view of what, what is uh, Cloudflare, we will talk about the products and uh, groups of products. So we can uh, split uh, the products into four groups. Uh, first one is uh, security group and uh, then we can find uh, the application firewall to protect uh, customers' applications and servers, bot management uh, to distinguish uh, the good and bad bots. Uh, uh, DDoS protection on several layers, we will talk about it uh, later. Magic Transit uh, for accelerating uh, the traffic. Uh, it's also engines for IoT security and for managing uh, managing SSL and TLS certificates. Uh, secure origin connection to, to connect the origin servers and rate limiting uh, to protect uh, the uh, origin servers and also protect the customers uh, 
from uh, being invoiced uh, for some uh, uh, extra traffic. The next group uh, of functionalities is uh, performance and reliability. Uh, Cloudflare with uh, its huge uh, network of data centers uh, acts as uh, CDN, so the network distributed cache. Uh, uh, through the network, it's a uh, anycast network with intelligent routing. Uh, so it's uh, also uh, every time it's uh, found in the fastest way uh, from the uh, from the end user before his request to the origin server. And uh, Cloudflare also can balance uh, the origin server. So if the customer has uh, more, for example, web servers, Cloudflare can balance uh, the traffic uh, between these servers to prevent uh, overloading some of them. Cloudflare also acts as a uh, DNS uh, provider, one of the biggest. Uh, probably you know the DNS server for ones, one dot one dot one dot one. Uh, and uh, for the accelerating uh, the traffic, uh, Cloudflare uh, can provide uh, image optimization and also support of uh, streaming uh, based on uh, different uh, encoding for different uh, end user devices uh, to uh, bring the best performance and best quality uh, necessary for uh, such usage. Uh, third uh, part uh, of uh, the product offering is Cloudflare for Teams. Uh, where we have two products, Cloudflare Access, uh, to access uh, web-based applications uh, from anywhere uh, without the necessity to open, for example, VPN connection or, or anything else. But the end user is uh, uh, asked for credentials and uh, uh, that, uh, when he's accessing the application itself and uh, Cloudflare Gateway for secure access to the uh, outside uh, internet. The fourth one at the bottom uh, is serverless application platform. Uh, Cloudflare can offer uh, space for workers uh, and uh, to move uh, the compute power from the origin servers uh, to the network closer to the end user, so it could be faster. And again, with the robust uh, uh, basement behind, uh, so uh, it's uh, uh, more uh, powerful than a standalone server, for example. So, uh, as the uh, Cloudflare network is very close almost to everyone in the world, uh, for internet connected population is uh, uh, closer than uh, 100 milliseconds, uh, the nearest data center. So for Cloudflare offers uh, its services on uh, several of, uh, layers in the OSIF uh, model. So starting with layer three, it's magic transit, uh, then layer four is uh, Spectrum, Argo, and load balancing. And of course, layer seven application layer is uh, DNS, CDN, Argo, web application firewall, port management, and video streaming. So for a simple diagram, how it works. Uh, so if uh, the customer wants to use Cloudflare, then uh, in front of uh, his servers, and it could be servers uh, on-prem, it could be in cloud, multi-cloud, or hybrid cloud. Uh, in front of these servers uh, is a uh, posted uh, Cloudflare network. So any if, uh, customer, any visitor first access the Cloudflare network and uh, then his request is routed uh, to the origin server at the backend. So for the, uh, uh, for the regular visitors, uh, the communication is accelerated and optimized. Uh, for bots, uh, there's a decision based on artificial intelligence and on some additional uh, techniques. Uh, if the bot is good or bad, uh, of course, the bad ones are stopped. Uh, the good ones are forwarded to the origin servers. And of course, any attacker with any kind of attack uh, is stop, uh, stopped uh, at the edge of the network and is not uh, forwarded to the backend servers, the origin servers. And uh, it could be not only DDoS attackers, it could be any kind of attacks as uh, you saw, the Cloudflare network is really huge and it's uh, spread worldwide. Uh, all the communication is uh, analyzed and uh, the patterns of uh, attacks uh, are spread uh, to all the data centers and uh, these attacks are stopped uh, 
uh, pretty fast uh, when uh, such a kind of attack uh, will appear in the future. It's also for unknown attacks or for currently unknown attacks uh, that uh, the system is self-learned uh, very fast and stopped uh, the malicious communication in the future. So uh, we are back in this uh, security topic. Uh, the uh, Cloudflare's IP reputation database uh, identifies and blocks uh, uh, the new threads uh, uh, across uh, 7 million applications on the network. So it's something I talked uh, about uh, a while ago. So uh, this is the uh, root of the request uh, from uh, beginning to the end. Uh, so uh, first, uh, we are starting with DNS, uh, with the DNSSEC support. Uh, there is uh, DDoS protection on layer three and four. Uh, SSL certificates management, uh, if used uh, by the customer, then uh, can uh, take the action bot management, uh, then the DDoS protection on layer seven, uh, followed by rate limiting to protect uh, the origin servers and also to protect the customer from uh, being invoiced uh, for extra traffic. Next, uh, web application firewall, followed by Argo tunnel, which is connecting the origin server uh, or servers uh, to the Cloudflare network. And of course, uh, we can uh, extend uh, by orbit for IoT uh, devices, uh, Cloudflare Spectrum, and also take the control of this uh, access and uh, workers. Probably you can find uh, many uh, solution offering uh, some uh, filtering the traffic, uh, let's say if, uh, scrubbing center of uh, filtering the traffic, but uh, usually such uh, offering is only if, uh, one of, uh, data center where the traffic is uh, filtered. And uh, what will happen if the this uh, only one data center is uh, going down or is overloaded, uh, then all the traffic uh, will be stopped. This is not the case of Cloudflare network, as we already saw that uh, the traffic or the network is uh, pretty huge. So if any of the data centers uh, is down, it's immediately replaced by the rest uh, of the data centers. And the end user, the customer, will not uh, see any delay, for any communication interruption, and so on. And of course, uh, all the data centers are sharing uh, the intelligence constantly and applying uh, uh, to the new uh, new attacks. So, uh, overview of the DDoS protection. So uh, it's not uh, only focus on one layer in the OSIP model, but uh, on the layers three, four, and seven. So uh, it uh, in the best uh, DDoS protection in the world. Uh, starting with the uh, low uh, layer network attacks. Uh, and finish with uh, the application DDoS uh, attacks. Uh, so uh, really on every uh, layer, of, uh, you, you can be protected or your customers can be protected uh, from the DDoS attack uh, of uh, any size. As uh, we saw, the capacity of the cloud uh, network is really huge and uh, uh, it can absorb uh, any size of the uh, DDoS attacks. So with the web application firewall, as many customers are currently using uh, on-premise web application firewalls from different uh, vendors. Uh, to use uh, the cloud-based web application firewall brings uh, many advantages. Uh, again, the stability and uh, robust uh, system behind. Uh, and uh, within the Cloudflare WAF, uh, you can, uh, or the request, uh, will pass uh, all the uh, layers, uh, starting with uh, custom firewall rules, uh, and the uh, browser integrity check, uh, IP reputation check, then manage rule sets uh, managed by Cloudflare. So uh, it's uh, really nice that uh, you can uh, deploy it uh, pretty easy and fast. Uh, for example, if you want to protect uh, uh, Microsoft Exchange, for example, then uh, you can switch on uh, the managed rule set for Microsoft Exchange and uh, everything is already prepared by the Cloudflare team and their experts uh, and it's uh, updated regularly 
to be up to date uh, with the uh, current situation. And at the end, uh, there could be the workers, uh, so the compute power of, uh, in the network, and uh, the last layer of the fabrication firewall, and then the request uh, will pass to the origin servers. Several times I already mentioned uh, of uh, rate limiting. So uh, usually if uh, any kind of attack uh, appears, uh, then it's a big spike uh, in the communication. And uh, of course it can overload uh, the origin servers uh, and uh, they could be shut down or out of service, uh, which will uh, interrupt uh, offering the services uh, for the customers, for the end users. And on the other side, uh, such uh, peaks can also uh, be costly because uh, it depends on the agreement uh, with the provider uh, and uh, such extra traffic can be uh, above uh, the limits and uh, charge uh, for extra money. So Cloudflare uh, will set the limits and uh, any, if, uh, uh, any request above the limit uh, will be delayed uh, to, uh, to prevent all these uh, disadvantages of, of such uh, peaks. Uh, here we have to say that uh, Cloudflare is uh, licensed uh, based on uh, amount of data and amount of uh, requests, uh, but it's uh, flat uh, pricing. Uh, so uh, if appear any attack uh, of any size, uh, there will be no extra charge uh, from Cloudflare. So uh, it's only if counted uh, the valid uh, communication, not the attacker's communication. So uh, again, uh, we have to compare it with uh, the competitors. So often there's extra of, uh, charge for the, the attacks or the communication of the attackers. So uh, this is the DDoS protection and layer four, it's called Cloudflare Spectrum. It uh, works for TCP or UDP protocols on, on any port uh, and can block uh, traffic uh, by uh, IP address or IP range and brings the fastest performance uh, for TCP and UDP applications. And it's uh, very easy to configure it on a per application basis, uh, UI or using API. A very good system, uh, especially in uh, security, has to bring uh, good uh, reporting, uh, detailed. Uh, so it's uh, the same with uh, Cloudflare, uh, a lot of uh, reports and logs uh, uh, directly in the dashboard or can be connected to uh, other sources like CM uh, for uh, next investigation. And uh, of course, for some automated uh, actions using, for example, API. Uh, we already mentioned uh, the bot management that we have to uh, check if uh, the robot accessing uh, our systems is good or bad. Uh, so, uh, why to protect uh, our servers uh, from bots? Uh, some uh, robots can uh, try to uh, steal uh, credentials, uh, can uh, steal public information from the website. Uh, for example, if uh, you, will, you will run uh, the e-shop, uh, then the robots can uh, steal the uh, pictures and description of the goods and reuse it uh, for uh, other uh, customer or competitor. Uh, or uh, robots can uh, misuse uh, the uh, advertisement uh, uh, advertisement clicks and uh, de destroy your marketing analytics uh, because you will not see the real uh, real situation, but it will be affected by the robots. Or uh, such robots can uh, block the goods uh, in the issue, for example, uh, putting uh, the, the goods in the order and uh, blocking regular customers from buying it. And of course, uh, if uh, the customer is offering uh, the online payments, uh, there's a danger of uh, credit card uh, information stealing. So for every uh, e-shop every e owner uh, wants to protect his customer from uh, such situation because it's also his reputation. 
and uh, how Cloudflare is protecting uh, protecting uh, from uh, these bots. Uh, so uh, I can see uh, several uh, features or techniques uh, uh, based on the behavior analysis, machine learning, uh, fingerprinting. Uh, then uh, we can also uh, prepare buff rules uh, uh, or workers and uh, uh, for uh, customers or legit legitimate visitors and good bots, uh, we will allow the communication for the bad bots. Uh, we can stop the communication or, for example, ask uh, uh, for CAPTCHA or uh, some, some other human response, uh, but the bots are not uh, able to. But in the same uh, same time, we are preventing the uh, legitimate uh, visitors uh, from being uh, asked uh, too often for some uh, authentication, uh, captcha codes, and and so on. Because uh, for every customer, sorry, for every customer is annoying if he is asked uh, too often uh, for such uh, such actions like uh, marking. Uh, uh, hydrants uh, or buses on, on the pictures and, and so on. It's a ma magic transit. Uh, we can extend uh, the power of Cloudflare also to the on-premise network, uh, where Cloudflare can act as a reverse proxy uh, and uh, accelerate uh, uh, the communication with the customer's origin network. Uh, with uh, not only the reverse proxy, but with also the protection, DDoS mitigation, and IP firewall as well. How the magic transit works? Uh, if uh, the customer is onboarded, uh, then uh, his uh, servers are hidden behind the Cloudflare network, and the Cloudflare network is announced using BGP protocol as the customer's network. So any request uh, to the customer's network, to the customer's uh, issue, for example, or website, is routed uh, to the Cloudflare global network. Uh, the network is uh, based on Anycast communication, so it's very fast. And at the end, this uh, Anycast tunnel from the Cloudflare network to the customer's data center. Uh, and uh, the communication uh, is forwarded to the uh, backend or origin servers. And uh, during the uh, way through the Cloudflare uh, network, uh, there's also the filtering and there's also acceleration and the clean traffic is uh, accelerated uh, and uh, faster than using uh, classic uh, way of routing. Probably you will ask uh, how reliable Cloudflare is uh, if uh, you will think about the publishing of your customers. Uh, uh, servers uh, through Cloudflare and uh, Cloudflare's uh, DNS uh, server is uh, managing uh, about 38% uh, of uh, all DNS domains. Uh, it's one of the largest uh, DNS network in the world and uh, average lookup speed uh, like uh, 12 milliseconds. Uh, very fast in uh, making the updates uh, in the time uh, lower than five uh, seconds uh, worldwide and uh, very reliable with uh, DDoS protection also for the for DNS uh, request. And as we already said, Confer also offers DNS sec uh, to add uh, extra of uh, security on top of uh, your DNS authentication. Uh, using Cloudflare uh, Anycast Network, uh, we can also uh, load balance uh, the request. Uh, so every customer can uh, define what uh, data centers will be in use. Uh, for example, for defining by region. For example, the customer from European Union wants to use only European uh, data centers. Uh, so then uh, will be used only these data centers for balancing or uh, the customer can uh, decide that uh, if he can use uh, any data centers for uh, uh, faster performance from anywhere uh, in the world. So it's uh, really based on the customer's decision. Uh, we can also balance uh, based not only on the availability, but also for based on the latency. So if uh, any data center or the way to the data center is uh, slower than uh, other, then the fastest way available will be used. 
в end-to-end performance uh, uh, CDN is very easy to set up uh, and uh, it's uh, closer of, uh, than 10 milliseconds for 90% of the global population. So if you want to uh, publish uh, any information for, to your customers, then uh, CDN from Qualifier is uh, a good way how to do it. So, uh, and how uh, Cloudflare is uh, optimizing the communication and uh, making it faster. So, uh, sorry. Again, uh, several of, uh, several steps. Canva uh, is optional. It's a China network uh, for uh, delivering content directly from China based, based servers to the customers. Uh, uh, then uh, exchanging the web standards or using the newest web standards like uh, HTTP slash two, AMP or TLS 1.3 and uh, support for uh, better delivery and faster delivery of uh, an streamed content. Then uh, web content optimization is reducing the uh, size of images, uh, caching of them using new web standards. Uh, and so on. And the last one is Argo Tunnel, actually everything delivery uh, to the origin server uh, with uh, uh, keeping uh, the connections uh, open, to optimizing the routes uh, using uh, the Cloudflare's Anycast network. So this we will see on the, this picture. So the normal pass of the requests uh, from the end user to the origin server uh, can use uh, any roads through the internet. Uh, quite often, uh, the road uh, will be changed uh, during the time because uh, some connection will become slow or unavailable or some service on the way uh, will become uh, slow or unavailable. Using Cloudflare network, as we already said, every user is very close uh, to the Cloudflare network. Then. Uh, uh, we will use the fastest ever for connection again to the closest uh, data center to the origin server. So uh, this can uh, improve uh, the speed and uh, the feeling of the end user, how uh, fast, uh, the, for example, web interface uh, eShop uh, is. If uh, any of your customers uh, is thinking about uh, sharing uh, the streamed content, uh, and, and Cloudflare can help uh, with uh, optimization of the uh, streams uh, for uh, different uh, usage. So if, uh, if you want to share the stream content and uh, uh, the customer has to upload uh, the source to the Cloudflare, and then Cloudflare will encode in, into different codecs and uh, source uh, all the new encoded versions, and then we'll use uh, the best version for the end customer, for example, if it's played on mobile device or on a standard computer, low resolution, better resolution, and so on. So it's already pre-prepared and uh, uh, used the, the best, uh, best ever uh, version. Few words about Cloudflare workers, uh, uh, where uh, you can deploy the workers in the Cloudflare network uh, and use its compute power. So uh, you can uh, call it as a function as a service. Uh, and again, uh, it's closer to the customers, uh, to the end users, than uh, the customer's servers, the origin servers. So uh, then the Cloudflare network will become, become the computer. So with uh, better uh, security posture because it's protected by all the functionalities uh, from Cloudflare, uh, better user personalization, so uh, you can change the code dynamically based on the end user. It's a reduced infrastructure cost because you don't need to host uh, the compute power of uh, at the origin servers and uh, also uh, protected uh, by uh, all functionalities like web application firewall or DDoS protection. Uh, next product called Cloudflare One, uh, which can uh, bring uh, easy communication uh, to current uh, businesses. Uh, during the last uh, two years uh, with the pandemic, uh, many uh, employees are working from uh, home, uh, from outside, but uh, still we need to uh, keep the communication secured. Uh, 
So uh, the classical VPN solution is uh, not the best uh, wave anymore, but we can use uh, Cloudflare One and uh, connect uh, all the users through the Cloudflare network to the websites, applications, or uh, uh, backend servers of the customer. This uh, authentication directly in, in the Cloudflare network, uh, uh, so it's uh, very secure and fast. So uh, here's uh, the features uh, what we can uh, bring to customers uh, and help them with zero trust security is uh, application control of a secure tunnel for all protocols uh, and uh, tracking the devices, uh, protect from uh, external threats uh, with filtering of DNS and URLs used, uh, browser isolation, uh, details prevention or bandwidth control and uh, with different clients for mobiles uh, and IoT security. And uh, again, uh, with all the platform behind, with the uh, dashboard and API, all the analytics and uh, logs. So uh, this was a uh, short overview of Cloudflare, uh, because uh, we are able to talk about it, about all the functionalities, hours and hours. Uh, so for, for any of you, if uh, you'll be interested, then we can set up a more deep uh, technical webinar uh, with you or with your customers uh, as well. So if, uh, if you have any questions, now is the right time to ask uh, about Cloudflare. Please use the chat uh, uh, on uh, your screens. So. I uh, don't see any any questions yet. Uh, so if, uh, you can ask uh, Ramin if he want to add uh, anything uh, to the presentation. Yes, uh, thank you, Michal, for presenting. Uh, it was really informative. Uh, such a couple of updates. Um, we are growing significantly and uh, Right now, the network capacity of the Cloudflare is uh, 90 uh, terabit per second. And uh, uh, we have grown in the number of the data centers as well. So right now it's uh, 215 uh, plus uh, data centers um, uh, point of presence uh, all around the world. Uh, yeah, like in the, in the cities, uh, but in general, the number of our uh, data centers is 350 plus. So uh, for today, in uh, we have the our data centers point of presence uh, in every Europe Union country. Uh, yeah, in Czech Republic, we have them in in Prague. Uh, so uh, yeah, yeah, and in uh, Adriatic region in Balkan. Yes, uh, uh, in Adriatic region as well. Uh, we have uh, we are covering the Croatia uh also covered uh, zagreb uh slovenia um also i will send in a chat the link which is showing the all the list of the, our uh data center coverages it's uh, officially on our cloudflare websites but i will uh send the send the materials to the chat perfect uh, thank you for the addition i will uh, improve my presentation to share no, it's not good, about good, good, good numbers, well, but uh, you can see if, uh, that uh, Cloudflare is a company which is uh, evolving uh, really fast, and uh, this is good news for, for, for you and for your customers because uh, the solution is uh, improving and is getting better and better uh, as uh, also the attackers are uh, evolving and uh, the attacks are. Uh, uh, more of, uh, massive and uh, worse uh, than uh, it was uh, in the past. So uh, this is uh, really good for your customers. Uh, but you can uh, highlight this, uh, that uh, they will be protected uh, all the time, also in the future, uh, with uh, any kind of attacks they will appear in the future. So in the chat, you can see for the link, uh, I mean, promise to share if, uh, Thank you, Ramin. And now uh, I will jump uh, to another vendor, which is uh, Virtuoso. So, uh, uh, 
Wait a second. Uh, Virtuoso, uh, this is uh, our next brand in our offering. Uh, uh, it's a new brand in offering. We started in uh, Q2 uh, with this vendor. And uh, Virtuoso is offering the hybrid infrastructure, hyperconverged infrastructure for multiple cloud uh, use cases. So, again, uh, several facts uh, about uh, the company. It's uh, with us uh, 21 years, so again, uh, no startup, uh, rapidly growing, uh, the market share of 35%. Uh, There's uh, more than 130 employees uh, in 16 locations, uh, what you can see uh, on the map in the upper right corner. If you see some similarity with Acronis, uh, yes, there is a connection between these two companies, and we will see it also with the offering of uh, uh, backup solution uh, for uh, the virtual environment as well. So for more than uh, 450 partners, and you will be more than welcome to become a virtual partner uh, with us as a value added distributor, uh, cooperating with you and uh, the vendor itself. Uh, so what can uh, virtual offer for uh, service provider? Uh, virtual can uh, increase the revenue and profit uh, compared to uh, the competitive solution, can reduce costs, costs uh, and reduce the business risk uh, uh, from uh, interrupting uh, the offering of your services. can also accelerate uh, time to market. It's, uh, it's again uh, API, API driven, so for the customer can uh, uh, order those uh, services, uh, compute and uh, storage uh, directly from uh, for example, the market will also bring it also to our Zebra marketplace. And uh, it was all very innovative. So bringing the innovation almost uh, every week uh, or every month uh, uh, to the customers. So let's uh, take a look uh, on the Virtuoso hybrid infrastructure. Uh, the customers uh, using the traditional solution with some pains. Uh, the third party resolution solutions can be expensive uh, and complex uh, for cloud scenarios. Uh, on the other hand, open source solutions are uh, complex to develop and maintain. And uh, usually there will be some, uh, uh, some necessity of the uh, original of, uh, engineer who developed it. Uh, and it's not uh, shared the knowledge with the rest. And uh, hyperscalers have strong value proposition, but uh, they are usually offshore. Uh, on the other side, virtual solution can offer high performance compute, uh, software defined storage, as well as software defined networking, multi tenancy, and self service, uh, which can uh, accelerate uh, your business. Uh, very easy management and advanced monitoring uh, of uh, all the uh, services offered to your customers. So uh, the block scheme of Vitoso uh, 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 offering. Uh, so in the layer, this Vitoso uh, hypervisor and Vitoso storage used uh, by another features like uh, identity service, uh, so the defined network, uh, compute service, uh, storage services, Kubernetes, and uh, load balancer. This uh, multi-tenancy and uh, orchestration provided by uh, Prometheus or Grafana monitoring. On top of it, uh, this organization panel, then the cell service uh, user interface for the end users and uh, OpenStack API for interconnection with uh, other systems. So, uh, with Virtuoso, of, uh, you can start uh, your uh, public cloud uh, pretty easy if, uh, with multi-tenant architecture and self-service panel 
uh, it's not it's not locked to any hardware vendor so uh, you or your customers can use uh, any or any board hardware or uh, it's not uh, limited to one brand only uh, Windows as a vendor is uh, really flexible with implementing business and technical changes uh, the customer needs. Uh, and uh, the hypervisor is based on uh, KVM, as uh, Windows is uh, a contributor of the KVM community. It simplified maintenance and support uh, and uh, with integrated high performance storage with uh, erasure coding. Uh, to deploy the virtual solution is uh, very easy with uh, automatic installation and updates for all the components. Uh, updates uh, without necessity of reboots uh, for critical systems. Uh, Virtuoso is uh, licensed flexibly in the system pay as you grow. So you pay only for the resources you sell to your customers. So you don't need to prepay something for the future grow, but you will pay only what will be ordered by your customers. And it also offers support of all the components of the solution from the Linux kernel up to the user interface. So uh, what are the use cases uh, where you can uh, use uh, Virtuoso? It could be your private cloud or your customers. Private cloud uh, with cost-effective uh, software solution. Uh, you can use uh, any brand of hardware, uh, which is uh, the mo most cost-effective for you. With self-service portal, uh, with several storage types supported like iSCSI, NFS, uh, S3 with virtual networking uh, and uh, Kubernetes uh, support. And again, as we said, this API. Uh, or you can use Vitozo for uh, public cloud uh, with uh, easy and fast installation and uh, very similar set of uh, features also for the public clouds. With Vitozo, you can manage uh, Kubernetes uh, as a service out of the box. Uh, with special user interface for Kubernetes, uh, with integration with load balancers and persistent volumes. Or we can use uh, Virtuoso and offer storage as a service uh, with uh, Go replication and support of Amazon S3 uh, API, with uh, SSD caching, uh, multiple storage tires, uh, and uh, support of NFS or of, uh, block storage via iSCSI is uh, again self-service user interface for storage so the customer can uh, order extra storage uh, immediately when he needs it and uh, again the pricing is based on usage so uh, within the hybrid infrastructure of Vitozo is uh, high performance uh, computing uh, and uh, high availability of virtual machines which protects your of applications and services. As you already mentioned, uh, the solution is based on uh, KVM. It's, uh, it's uh, features like uh, high availability, flexible storage policies, uh, application consistent snapshots, uh, memory overcommitment, or live migration between nodes. Uh, the solution is also certified by uh, Microsoft, which uh, brings uh, several advantages uh, with uh, other Microsoft services. Uh, Server-defined storage, uh, use uh, disk of your server uh, to create uh, clustered storage uh, on with uh, several tires uh, uh, defined with the faster and slower of, uh, hard drives uh, using different storage types like iSCSI, NFS, or Amazon S3. Uh, or uh, high performance with infinite band uh, support. In the same way, uh, software defined networking, uh, have, uh, you can offer to your customers uh, for virtual private networking and virtual distributed switching. So you can uh, uh, you can split uh, your customers in isolated uh, islands uh, with their private networking, not uh, affected by other customers in your data center. And of course, uh, all the components uh, are monitored and you can manage it from a single management console. 
uh, where the management can be also clustered uh, to uh, prevent any failure. Uh, you can use uh, API, which is compatible with OpenStack, and uh, monitor use uh, Prometheus and uh, Grafana. There's also a feature called maintenance mode, uh, where you can put uh, the virtual machine in maintenance mode, uh, provide the updates or other maintenance, and then put it back to the production, uh, which can be used high availability and uh, provided without any uh, interruption of the service for the end customers. And uh, we mentioned several times uh, that uh, the social is uh, built for multi uh, So you can host uh, your customers uh, uh, in, the, in your uh, virtual data center. There's a self service portal for, for the tenant users uh, with integration by APIs. So for any kind of uh, marketplace like Zebra Marketplace can use it uh, to make the business uh, cycle faster. So here can you see the snapshot uh, of the management console. If you remember yesterday's uh, presentation from Acronis, uh, it's very similar because it uses uh, the same engine behind. So uh, in the same way, it's very easy to deploy new virtual machine, easy to uh, reboot it, uh, shut down uh, or access it using the web interface. So uh, by deploying uh, Virtuoso, it's uh, very fast, uh, and it's uh, prepared for the production. So uh, you can uh, deploy it uh, uh, literally in minutes. Uh, it's available for virtual machines, uh, for management, uh, with uh, non-destructive updates, maintenance mode, or automation of uh, uh, disk replacement in the storage. Uh, in connection with Acronis, is uh, built-in backup and disaster recovery, so you can benefit from uh, uh, interconnection of these two companies. Uh, so uh, you can again bring advantages for your customers. About the maintenance mode, uh, so for any kind of maintenance, uh, rolling the updates. Uh, so we can uh, put the node in the maintenance mode, perform the updates, and exit the maintenance mode again. And uh, it will work for for, uh, for, for all the for possible for updates you can imagine. Uh, the ecosystem of uh, Virtuos Hybrid Infrastructure for integration with different uh, cloud providers, uh, like uh, Cloud Blue, Hostbill, Flyo. Integration with Acronis uh, Cyber Backup uh, and uh, integration with Parallels uh, for Workspace as a Service. So uh, now for information about the licensing, uh, I already mentioned it is uh, the model pay as you go. So if, uh, the customers uh, pays uh, for the compute uh, power, so if, uh, it uh, pays uh, for gigabytes of uh, RAM per hour. So it's approximately two dollars per gigabyte per month at full capacity, and for the storage, it's for a gigabyte of storage per hour. So again, approximately two cents per gigabyte per month, and it's used. So it's paid only once it is used. So if, for example, if the virtual machine is uh, switched off, uh, you are not paying for, for the, the used uh, compute and storage uh, anymore. So if, uh, here's a scheme uh, how to deploy the uh, uh, hybrid infrastructure uh, with several nodes uh, with uh, the firewall for accessing uh, for the API or for user interface. Uh, and publishing uh, the public VLANs uh, for uh, virtual machines. Uh, detailed uh, requirements are described uh, in the document uh, in this link. And uh, as we will send you the presentation, uh, you will be able to access uh, the link uh, with the full requirements how to deploy uh, virtual hybrid infrastructure. Uh, all the customers uh, can use try and buy. Uh, so, for, on the Virtuoso uh, website, uh, any customer can uh, 
access uh, the trial of license and deploy for the infrastructure and uh, after the trial period can decide to buy it uh, uh, buy it uh, directly from the solution uh, now it's a little bit more technical for architecture of the storage uh, so uh, from the bottom up uh, we have several nodes uh, where the hard drives are located uh, then we have the data layer and you can see that the data are spread across uh, uh, different nodes uh, to provide uh, better uh, uh, better reliability and uh, better performance and uh, above the data there are volumes and then storage interfaces uh, like uh, virtual machine volumes uh, iSCSI NFS or S3 objects for any uh, volume we can also use uh, QoS policy to limit storage resource consumption, to prevent storage abuse and also protect our bills. So we can limit the IOPS or bandwidth limits, or we can change the limits with the storage policies. Failed domains, you can mark the nodes and to which uh, room, row or rack it belongs. Uh, and uh, then uh, you can spread uh, the usage uh, of the nodes uh, across, for example, different uh, uh, racks uh, to bring better SLA. Uh, for example, if all the rack is uh, down, then uh, you can use other of them. And uh, yesterday you already heard uh, about uh, the acronym cyber backup uh, that can be used by Virtuos hybrid infrastructure. So it's uh, agentless backup uh, for the VMs. Uh, so with uh, API support, uh, so for the full VM recovery uh, into Virtuos hybrid infrastructure on a few clicks or automated uh, one. So. Uh, the integration backup agent is brand only for Virtuos hybrid infrastructure, but uh, it works uh, technically for Acronis cyber infrastructure as well. So uh, automation for the hard drive disk replacement. So if, uh, if you need to replace the failed uh, disk, uh, then uh, this automation that uh, it, the new disk will get the same setting that uh, the failed one has uh, or had, uh, and uh, it can uh, uh, lower the uh, downtime, uh, so you don't need to configure the disk. Uh, everything will be done automatically and fast. So uh, then. Uh, uh, you can uh, set up uh, virtual machine placement rules. Uh, so, on each group of nodes, uh, the virtual machine can be uh, stored. Uh, and the uh, use case, for example, is uh, with Windows or SQL Server licensing, uh, where you have to license uh, all the uh, physical nodes uh, where it can run. So, if you will limit uh, to only a few of them, then uh, you will save uh, the licensing fees uh, for Microsoft. Or uh, you can, uh, for, for some customer, uh, provide uh, better performance, with, uh, more performant uh, CPUs uh, or some uh, additional fee. Or if, uh, if some hardware is dedicated only for some project, uh, then uh, the virtual machines for the project can be dedicated on the uh, on the hardware itself. And uh, here's a block schema of uh, the use case. Uh, if uh, our customer wants to act as a service provider with public cloud, uh, then uh, you can see if, uh, on the top of the software defined storage and uh, software defined networking is isolated tenants uh, from one to n. So every such tenant, every such uh, end customer uh, will have his own uh, virtual machine, storage resources, computer resources, and isolated uh, network. 
Uh, then uh, we have also the common storage resources uh, connected iSCSI or NFS uh, shares for, for all the tenants we want to allow to access them. And uh, from uh, uh, from the experience of those uh, success stories, uh, uh, first one, uh, the managed service provider from Latin America uh, run uh, public and private clouds based on VMware, but uh, it became uh, very expensive for some customer. Uh, so, uh, and it was hard to compete with other uh, clouds based on uh, VMware. So, uh, the solution that uh, the new cloud is based on Virtuos hybrid infrastructure which is the uh, most cost effective alternative to existing VMware public uh, cloud. So after migration uh, from uh, VMware to Virtuoso, uh, then uh, the service provider can provide also infrastructure as a service and uh, uh, offer better services with lower price. The next success story for local public cloud uh, from Western Europe, uh, his uh, solution was uh, based on a status scale, but uh, the status scale went bankrupt. Uh, uh, and uh, this uh, provider has uh, uh, his customer with agreements and uh, other customers in the pipeline. So he very fast replaced the current uh, uh, infrastructure from status scale to fit to the hybrid infrastructure and use a similar self-service and billing solutions integrated to the API. So uh, from a zero virtual machine to hundreds uh, within uh, six months, so it's a very really fast uh, deployment of the solution. So uh, this is what we've uh, prepared uh, for you to introduce you for Virtuoso and Cloudflare. So again, if you have uh, any questions, don't hesitate to ask using the chat or switch on your microphone and ask us uh, directly. And as uh, Nebuchadnezzar already mentioned that uh, all the recordings from all four days uh, will be published and shared uh, the links uh, with you, as well as uh, the used presentations uh, for your food usage for your colleagues or for your customers, of course. Uh, there's nothing uh, uh, secret uh, you cannot share with your customers. Uh, we'll be more than uh, glad that uh, you will do it. And uh, then uh, we will discuss your customers and uh, their uh, pains and their solution based on any of our technologies we are offering. So uh, still no questions uh, at all uh, so far. So uh, Nebuchadnezzar, do you want to uh, say the final words of our uh, Zebra Summer Academy? Doesn't uh, look so. So uh, then I will... Uh, Thank you for your attention. For, for, for I'm looking forward to for the cooperation. And uh, once uh, you, you will be interested in any of our solution, uh, contact us, and uh, we will set up uh, uh, more deep sales or technical presentations, uh, uh, as well as uh, the demonstration of the real environment of any of our technologies we are offering. So thank you, have a nice day, have a nice rest of the summer, and I'm looking forward to see you virtually or physically next time. So thank you very much.